Hello and welcome to another edition of Toys from the Attic. Now April is a very rabbit themed month, so I can think of no one better to review than the Green Bunny himself, Bucky O'Hare. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at him. In another dimension, another time and place, a parallel universe was falling on its face. Okay, enough of that. For many of you out there who don't remember, Bucky O'Hare first started out as a comic book, but then became a cartoon series in 1991. I never read any of the comic books, but I remember making a point to see every single episode of the cartoon when it was on TV, and boy was it great. The main plot of the show centered around Bucky O'Hare and his crew fighting a space war against the evil Toad Empire. I'm not going to go into too much more of the plot because I highly recommend you seek out the series and watch it yourself. The stories weren't overly complicated, and they weren't terribly simple either. You just have a good time watching it. Some of the episodes I've gone back to look at, I've hardly had any experiences where I'm thinking, oh my god, I can't believe I actually watched this a long time ago. I still kind of get drawn into the storyline and find myself liking it. But enough about that, we're here to talk about the toy. Bucky here is a little bit more short and stout than he appeared in the um, actual cartoon, but that's kind of common with a lot of the figures of uh, toy lines like this and of uh, this series. Um, I remember getting the guys at KB mainly. Uh, I remember seeing them a lot on the shelf there, and I, I love the series, so I wanted to get them. Um, Bucky O'Hare has his uh, typical green uh, green fur or skin, as you were. He's a green rabbit in the show, and uh, you can see the little tufts of fur that uh, came out here. He actually um, looks a lot like what he appeared in the show, other than him kind of being just a little bit short, so I'm happy with it. Um, his ears each have their own little bit of articulation, so you could kind of position them differently depending on how you want it. Uh, his head is of a slightly hard but still squishy rubber. Um, kind of common with a lot of the toys back then. Um, I refer to them as KB toys because I don't remember if Toys R Us there was a Toys R Us by my house at that time. But uh, yeah, so um, it's kind of holds up, still holds up over time. Um, he has his little uh, tassels right here that appeared in the show and tubes and other stuff that go around him and his paint scheme shows the red yellow and green of the show um he has uh this is the only articulation he has for his uh shoulders right here um not that bad um he has wrist articulation right here uh, on his arms and then pretty much just forward and back articulation um not too much articulation it's not a lot of movement like you see in most toys today but Back in the day, this is pretty much all, all we got, and we were kind of still happy with it. As long as they could kind of move up and down, we were pretty happy. Um, he has a nice, soft, rubbery cape that you can see that goes up and down, or doesn't hinder too much, and you can see a lot of some of the detail under here. So that's a neat little feature. It has a nice little paint scheme. I'm still surprised it's held up over all this time. Um, now, you have to forgive me because this is not the gun he originally came with. He came with a silver gun that was a little bit longer, but... In all my stuff, I still need to organize my uh, the place where I store all my toys, so I was not able to find his gun for this particular review, but this is one of the guns that often came with the figures. They often always had these little holes in the back here, and um, it's kind of hard not to, to, to stick on here. But you see on Bucky's little belt right here, there are these little nubs, and um, a lighter action figure that I'll go over had ha, also has these and you can kind of stick the guns right on these nubs for them to holster holster their guns so that was a neat little feature although Bucky's uh, design keeps hinders him from um, kind of putting it on there uh, this is actually a good little action figure and if you are a fan of Bucky I would suggest finding him on the internet they're not too expensive and you're pretty guaranteed to find him and all of his, all of his friends one more thing I want to add is Another reason why I like this, these figures is because they were often in scale, or could be in a close scale, to the Ninja Turtles figures. So you can have Bucky actually teaming up with Donatello or Leonardo to kick some of the bad guys around. So that was a neat little feature that made him able to play with other figures that he had that weren't necessarily in the same line.